Hey guys, welcome. Problem 19 here. And um, the first thing to note is that uh, the integral, which is written this way, can be written in this way. Yeah. And we want to write it this way uh, because what we're going to do is in this factored version of the denominator, we're going to claim that this is equal to u. Uh, so uh, yes, yet another u substitution problem on this qualifying exam. But yes, um, we let u equal uh, 1 over x um, plus ln of x. And by doing that, notice that first du will have to equal the derivative of uh, 1 over x is uh, negative 1 over x squared, and that's pretty easy to get at, so I won't show you details. And then the derivative of that is 1 over x, so we have plus 1 over x, and then of course dx. Yeah, cool. Now, since we want to substitute for this dx here, uh, we'd like to solve for dx in this expression. Well, first, let's get common denominators for these two guys. So that would mean that we have um, first that du be equal to negative 1, um, and then plus x, right, all divided by x squared, and then, of course, times dx, right? OK, cool. And like I said, what we want to do is solve for dx. And so when we do that, we can write the dx is equal to um, x squared divided by um, divided by, and then this we can write as x minus 1. So x squared divided by x minus 1, and then um, times du, right? OK, cool. So this here is this expression where we have solved for dx, right? Cool, cool, cool. So uh, we're going to write that in place of that dx and move on with life. And we like that this is in the denominator because we see that's in the numerator. So when, we're, when you're first playing around to figure out what you should be, like you see that you probably like want to factor out stuff from the denominator, but it's the fact that um, this convenience um, comes about that you immediately know that this is a good substitution, right? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, so uh, making the substitution, we could write that what we have is the same as integral of x minus 1 and then divided by, right? And then uh, we've got x squared. Well, it's not just this convenience, right? You also have that in the numerator and now and that in the denominator. So it's like plenty of conveniences that we like about this uh, choice of u. So this here is u because we started off by claiming that to be u, right? Okay, cool. And then um, the only thing left to replace is dx, which is all uh, the cancellation stuff, right? So first, let's write like that, because we're multiplying it by x squared from here. And then in the denominator goes um, the x minus 1. So this here is that, and this here is that. And of course, du, right? Okay, cool. So du is there, uh, that u. Okay. Um, all right, now this happens, right? So this happens. Um, boom, 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 boom. And then we can write that we have um, integral of du divided by u. Um, and we know that this is simply the natural log of u um, plus c, right? And uh, we know that u is right here. So we see that our final answer is the natural log of um, the natural log of one over x, and then plus um, ln of x, right, and then plus c. Yeah. Okay. Cool. This is it. Uh, keep watching. Take care.